Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Asshole Consulting. Hello, Aaron. Thanks for all you do. Your videos are not only extremely insightful, but hilarious as well. I'm saying the email here as it seems like the one on your site is not working properly. It is. Sometimes it just doesn't. I have some career questions for you. I've been out of work. I have been working for the last 12 years as an insurance adjuster. I somehow got into my head during middle school that I was bad at math, which has, in addition to listening to a lot of bad advice from well-meaning people around me, teachers. Teachers aren't well-meaning, by the way. They are. I think the people who are only more evil than them are politicians and journalists. Influenced me to make a lot of poor education and career choices. I was recently considering going to graduate school to become an industrial organizational psychologist. Not a real thing. After committing to and doing a lot of self-study and math in order to take the GRE, I realized that my problem was not that I was bad at math, but let me guess, I knew this was coming when I, when I read it the original time before, but that I was not putting in nearly the effort needed to master the topics. Now, in, in first world world, in the western world world, we call that lazy. Oh my goodness, all the problems in the world, lazy. I'm too lazy to put a condom on. I'll come to kid. Oh, damn. I'm too lazy to lazy. Daycare. Lazy. I want to make become a teacher. Why don't we make as much money? Because you lazy. Lay. Zay. Lazy. I'm not lazy. I have a learning day. So shut the fuck up. <clears throat> I found that with putting in adequate time, I was capable of doing quite well in math. No kidding. Really? I thought I'd just show up at the UFC and challenge, uh, not Elon McGregor. Who's the McGregor, uh... The, the real rip guy. I, any one of them. I thought I'd just walk in, challenge the, the heavyweight fighting guy, champion, like, because I don't need to train. Get the shit. Oh, dude, did you know that if you train and work out, you do better? In fact, I took your advice last night and took the IQ test on Queen Domingo. and scored a 150 on the test. In fairness, I've been studying for the GRE for several months, so I'm sure that helped bump the score up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, no, if you, you, can, you can change your score if you, if you brush up on your math and all that. This has led me to reconsider my path. I briefly considered going into actuarial work a few years ago and was able to take and pass Calculus 1 in 2012. Awesome. Even though I did well in the class, I felt like it was a huge struggle. Yeah, it's calculus, man. Unless, the, unless you've taken it and you got a good teacher that explains to you the concept of calculus, like, well, it's rates of changes and reverse rates of changes and all that. Um, dude, and, and most teachers suck, dude. They just fucking suck. Oh, my God, I hate teachers. Because it... It really, it's easier to grab a calculus book and just start reading through it and teaching yourself. Like, literally read what the person is trying to tell you and you'll understand it. Teachers are just, they just confuse the students. They're just an unnecessary wool over the eyes of people who want to learn. Uh, I had to relearn all of the algebra, geometry, and pre-calculus to even start the course. I realize now... The part of the difficulty was having a pregnant wife and working a tremendous amount of hours in addition to the studying I was doing. Really? You don't say. I ended up stopping after the class and did not come back to it until now. I was curious on your thoughts about these two career paths or any others that come to mind regarding industrial organization psychology. Not a real thing. It does pay reasonably well and sounds like a job that would suit me. However, getting a PhD. Ooh, fun. Six more years of bullshit and writing pablum and taking a simple concept and writing 20 paragraphs out of it. Oh, and then you, then you also, if they find out you're not a leftist, you will never get your PhD. Never. Uh, however, getting a PhD is needed to really make a great salary. This will require four to five years of school again. 
and I would not be able to start school until the fall of 2020. The programs are very competitive, but based on my test scores and GPA, I should be able to get into Georgia Tech or the University of Georgia. Tuition is covered by the school in exchange for teaching classes or being a research assistant. Oh, good. So you get to teach a bunch of SDW kids. The actuarial route seems like it would be faster, more lucrative in the long run. The pay is very good, as you have alluded to in several of your videos, and I would not have to wait until fall of 2020 to get started. However, my research has revealed that actuaries have to pass a series of 10 extremely difficult tests in order to advance throughout their career. They estimate that approximately 300 hours of study is needed for each one. The pass rates are around 50 or 60. I would also have to go back and relearn Calculus 1 along with Calculus 2 and 3. Oh, yeah, and a lot more than that, dude. It's, it's basically a math degree. That's really what it is. I feel like I could definitely clear all three within a year. I'm willing and able to put in the time to do this as I was studying for the GRE for the last two hours at most days over the course of the last few months. I know I could keep up that pace. Yeah, no, that's good. All right. Do you have any strong opinions of either of these career paths? Yes. Actuarial science? Yes. Industrial organizational psychology, new. And now to know a new. N N N N E E E W W W. New. As in, that is an, in, an insult to you to even consider hanging out with inferior minds who occupy that industry. I know. Is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know. I know. You have a PhD. I'm sure it was very hard, Mr. Indoor, industrial Organizational Psychologist. Very difficult. Now go fucking suck Yang's car. Or not Yang, Young. Carl Young's cock. You got a problem. Don't care. Uh, the actuarial route seems to be more appealing now, but I would definitely love to hear your opinion on it. Any other paths I may want to consider as well. Please let me know the price for an email. To... Oh, is that an email? Hey, guess what? You got a free video. Cool, because I'm not going to rewrite that. Uh, <clears throat> you will want uh, to do... Oh, no, you did pay for a video because you were surprised how cheap it was. It is very cheap. My fucking consultations are dirt cheap compared to the psychologist you're going to go talk to. Remember the AP, American uh, Psychological Association, said men suck and we got to purge them from society? They didn't say that. Yes, they did. Come talk to Cappy. Um, yeah, actuarial science between the two easily and never, never, no, no psychology degree whatsoever. None, none. Uh, unless you know it's bullshit and you want to go through the hoops and you actually want to help out people. Yeah, I know they tell me that stuff, but we're going to really actually help out the problem. Stop being a dick. There. Cool. Um, you seem to like math. You seem to like self-study. And so also in the realm of actuarial science, what I might want to you know, dip my toe in would be data science, um, some computer programming languages. Um, I don't want to do econometrics. Don't do econometrics. But that, that's kind of the area I would go into is databases, programming, <coughs> uh, data science, uh, which could maybe make a good minor. So for whatever reason, you really don't like actuarial science. Actuarial science will give you a very strong math background, and then you could very easily retool that towards a data science uh, background. But you don't even need to get a degree in data science because you can go get a certification through Microsoft. And as long as you learn the programming languages, um, you could parlay into that and then maybe at some point in time get a degree. So I would say those of you, in addition to actually the two main areas I would look at would be programming, uh, which is going to come almost hand in hand, and data science. So those two will go hand in hand um, as a good solid plan B. But without a doubt, the actual I know the exams are hard. That's why actuaries make a lot of money. We screen out the morons, and I'm not even an actuary. I just that's what you screen out the morons. Uh, but don't do industrial. Don't. Anytime you got to get to the PhDs are not worth it, especially with how corrupted and political academia has become. And you get into grad school, and you want to get your PhD. You got to line up and suck the dicks of all these other people who have their PhDs. And heaven forbid, because you're listening to my 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 website. If they find out, you, you don't even have to agree with me. You just have to be a, a, a boring, milky toast, beige Republican. Look at Brendan Ike. He made a donation to the, the um, anti-gay marriage thing in California, and they fired him. They fired him over that for participating in his own political life and the political process. Own personal life and the political process. Uh, no, actuaries, 
bachelor's degrees, that's what you want, where it's like, no, this is all I need, go screw yourself. And you, I, it, just as I'm against majoring or getting a PhD in um, industrial organizational psychology, because it's a stupid and worthless degree, it is also because of the risks that their politics and social justice warriors and the, the veritable Marxists and the psychopaths that occupy grad school and the PhD level, that is such a corrupted, sinking ship. There's no way any person should risk going and in, in, in going into that and get a PhD in that. Um, sorry, I mean, it's just, just look at academia. It's, it's a joke now. Girls are earning more degrees than boys. We're so much powerful and empowered and encouraged. Like, you're majoring in dumb shit. It's a sinking ship. Who wants to major in that crap? All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. Make sure you guys are not stupid. No, not, make sure. Make sure you guys who are smart but think you're stupid, no, you're not. Get this book, Curse of the High IQ. Okay? <clears throat> Imagine if this guy had figured out he was really intelligent, had that super high IQ, and went and majored in engineering. But then he'd be, oh my God, what do I major in? Oh my God, look, here's Cappy. Uncle Cappy with another book. Like, once you find out you're smart, and then you can major in anything, then you get this book. You say, oh, maybe I should go major in that stuff, because it pays. And it's not navel-gazing studies. All right, that's it. Check out the links down below. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.